गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स माय सर बिना त्रिपाठी वेलकम टू योर ऑनलाइन क्लास से स्टूडेंट्स दिस इज योर एनवायरमेंटल स्टडीज पार्ट टू टेक्स्ट बुक ऑफ स्टैंडर्ड फाइव स्टूडेंट्स आई एम गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन यू इन हिस्ट्री चैप्टर वन व्हाट इज हिस्ट्री सो से स्टूडेंट्स वॉट इज हिस्ट्री हिस्ट्री मीन्स वॉट ए साइंस दैट टेल एस अबाउट इवेंट्स इन द पास्ट मीन्स वॉट आई थिंक्स आर हैपन इन द पास्ट दैट वी कम टू नो अबाउट दैट दैट इज हिस्ट्री सो से स्टूडेंट्स there are this uh, four points are there the sub points are there so that we will discuss in this chapter this is that 1.1 history a science that tell us about events in the past 1.2 the scientific methods of history 1.3 history and us 1.4 the past and the future so all this point we will discuss in this chapter 1.1 history a science that tell us about events in the past so students what is history that means you should know about that a science that tell us about events in the past we can say the history or definition of history your answer will be a science that tell us about events in the past to be whatever knowledge we are getting from the past that we can say the history last year in standard 4 we studied the life of chhatrapati shivaji maharaj and his mission of stabilizing swaraj the time before the birth of shivaji maharaj was about 400 years before now or in the other words the time 400 years ago so students so previous year you have learned that was in the fourth standard what do you you have learned that the full life of Shivaji Maharaj means the full life of Chhatrapati Shivaji Maharaj and their mission, how he established Swaraj. Okay, and uh, the time before the birth of Shivaji Maharaj was about four hundred years before now, or in other words, a time four hundred years ago. For our convenience, we divide time in different way. Often we use words like now. some time ago after some time or today yesterday tomorrow or this year next year etc so see students for what purpose for our convenience purpose we divide time in different different way okay just like example now some time ago after some time or today yesterday tomorrow or this year next year so this we divide divide time in different different way etc when we use this words we are actually measuring time in our minds now today and this year are terms that indicate the present so see students that means uh, now today and this year so what all these words are terms that indicate the present so i guess that now you have to write that that means present only you have to write that so some time ago yesterday last year our time that indicate the past so what are things that happens that is coming the past so see student some time ago means which are ago yesterday last year so all this times are indicate the past after some time tomorrow next year our words that indicate the future so you have to remember this words after some time the tomorrow or next year so all these words are indicate the future so see students you have to remember that suppose uh, now today and this year we can say that these terms are indicate the present some time ago yesterday last year all these terms are indicate the past after some time tomorrow and next year all these words are indicate the future so all these words you have to remember okay students see students the time that has already gone by is the past it means which are happens that is past the time that we are in now that means whatever times are now we can say it is the present the time that is yet to come in the future that means which has not come that is yet to come we can say it is the future understood the past includes many events that have already taken place for example if you are 10 years old today 
इट मीन्स दैट द इवेंट्स ऑफ योर बर्थ हैपन टेन ईयर्स एगो इन द पास्ट सो सी स्टूडेंट्स वेरी गुड एग्जाम्पल्स इज गिवन ईयर सपोज यू आर टेन ईयर्स ओल्ड टूडे ओके दैट मीन्स यू आर कम्प्लीटेड टेन ईयर्स एगो इन द पास्ट Similarly, after ten years from now, that is in future, you will be twenty years old. So this way, students, after ten years from now, what happen that? That is in the future, you will be twenty years. The time gone by between today and the day of your birth is your past, the past in the life of a person. So see, students, that means. What are the times are gone by between today and the day of your birth is your past. That means whatever happens that is come in the past. See the picture shown here. See that uh, past day of birth ten years ago. Next picture see that present we are ten years old. That is come in the today. And see that future we shall be twenty years old after ten years. So very good examples are shown here. That means the past, present, and future. Okay, students. Science that tries to understand past events is called history. Students, the science that tries to understand that means about past events, we can say it is called a history. One point two, the scientific method of history in standard third and fourth as part of environmental studies. We have become acquainted with various science. The special characteristics means features of all these science is that their facts or evidence. Evidence means of students proof, confirmation. We can say that can be tested in experiment, which can be repeated anywhere, any time. The method of using a number of different tests to determine whether the evidence is reliable means dependable goods is called a scientific method. So say students, that means you have already learned in third and fourth standard, in which subjects that is environmental studies, and uh, we also acquainted various science, right? And uh, also we can have the special features of all these science, and uh, is that the facts or evidence means proof can be tested in through the experiment, which can be repeated anywhere or any time. We can say that. And this way, students say the methods of using a number of different tests to determine whether the evidence is reliable is called the scientific method. Suppose your question be there, question be there. What are the scientific methods, students? So what will answer be there? The method of using a number of different tests to determine whether the evidence is reliable, that means dependable, is called the scientific method. Okay. There are many things that happen since our birth that we may not know about. However, our grandparents or parents or other often tell us amusing stories to our childhood. Those stories are a part of of their memory. However, when different people tell us about the same event, we find difference in their narration. See, students, that means there are so many things are there, right? Happen since our birth. But we may not know about that. You know that our parents, grandparents, they are saying the stories, amusing stories. It means entertainment. That means entertaining stories. They are saying that your grandfather, grandmother, they are saying the stories to the of our childhood. Yes, yes or no? So those stories are a part of their memory. However, when different people tell us about the same events. So we find difference in their narration. Narration is what the action of narrating a story. How they are narrating the stories, how they are saying the stories. Okay, it makes us wonder which one is right. So we think about the which one is right and which one is wrong. Okay, we need to examine the details of each narration carefully to decide the correctness of the fact. So for that, what is important? so we have to examine the details of each narration carefully properly and to decide that which one is correctness okay which one is right or which one is wrong and decide the correctness of the facts it is not possible to conduct the experiment to recreate the events that have happened in the past therefore the method of presenting history is different from that of other science even so history uses a scientific method at every stage 
namely while looking for and collecting evidence examining the evidence and while putting it together where required help is also taken from other science that is why history is considered to be a scientific discipline say students that means it is not possible to conduct an experiment to recreate the events that happened in the past so because of that therefore the method of presenting history is different from us that of other science even so history uses the scientific method at every stage namely while looking for and collecting we have, we have to collect the evidence proof and examine and the evidence while and while putting it together and when required help is also taken from other science and because of that that is why history is considered to be a scientific discipline see students history is not written slowly so it means only on the basis of imagination you know students imagination is what that means creativity the part of the mind that imagines things so we can say the imagination so history is not written slowly so it means only on the basis of imagination that means what are the past are there on that basis only we can make the history without past we didn't have any knowledge about the that means we can't uh, write anything so okay so this way it is not written slowly on the basis of imagination uh, see students ancient objects structures sculpture pots coin inscriptions copper plates books manuscript means written by hand the books which are written by hand we can say the manuscripts traditional stories and song remembered over many generation etc so see students there are so many objects structures sculptures pots coin inscriptions copper plates books manuscripts traditional traditional stories and song remember over many generation etc are the sources of history so all these are the sources of history student you know that there are three sources of history student which are they material sources written source and oral source you should know about that suppose a question with there come in an exam period or in the exam how many that means what are the sources of history so what will what will be your answer students there are three sources of history which are they that is material source second one is written source and third one is oral source okay students pictures of the sources of history see the pots copper plate coins books and manuscripts so these all are the pictures of the sources of history okay students in order to find out what happened in the past and how it happened evidence available from all these sources is collected and thoroughly examined to determine its reliability with the help of the evidence that stands this test past events are put in a proper sequence and a historical account is written this is the scientific method see students uh, see that uh, first time say that what are the examples of the material source uh, see students example coin forts pot that means old structure pillars rock cut caves all are come in the material source and a written example letter copper plates stone inscriptions and biographies that will come in the written so which are written from that means which are we are getting the knowledge with the help of the written sources which one is written way and oral means orally example traditional songs folk songs folk tales so all these are the examples of the oral source see students that means in order to find out what happened in the past how it happened evidence available proof available from all this source and is collected and thoroughly examined first we have to collect that and after we have to make the exam study that or examine that and determine its reliability okay so with the help of the evidence that stands this test past events are put in a proper sequence and a historical account is written so we have to put this, all this uh, events period in a proper sequence and afterwards we have to write in a historical accounts written on that base and this is the scientific method and that we can say it is a scientific method that means we have to first we have to collect first we have to collect the exam that means evidence afterwards we have to examine on that whether, whether it is right or wrong 
whether it is correct or not and afterwards we have to write that make put all that proper sequence and afterwards we have to write that and this is scientific method students okay 1.3 history and us you know students history means we can history is a coherent account of significant events of the past so whatever information we are getting knowledge we are getting from the past we can say the history okay the study of science help us to find the answer to many questions for examples environmental science studies the problems of degradations of the environment pollution etc and looks for the yes solution so see students that means with the help of the study we are getting find the answer of many questions so examples are given here so which are the examples are the students environmental science studies example the problems of degradations the what are the problems are there of environment not to cut trees pollution air pollution noise pollution water pollution not to pollute etc and looks for the yes solution means how we can solve the problems in the same way every science has its own areas of study history studies events of the past and see students that means every science has its own areas of study but history studies only the events of the whatever things are happening in the past the studies that means history studies only events of the past individual or collective actions of the human beings have consequence that means we can say the effects there what are the effects are there importance we can say that they result in an environment that may be either favorable or in favorable for the progress of society this affect our day to day life for example see students if the people of a village work together and help one another the village makes good progress yes see very good examples are shown here that means if in a village people are working together they are cooperate with each other they are helping with each other so what happen that that village make progress good progress okay but uh, however if the people cannot come together if they are not helping with each other they are not cooperate with each other it put obstacles in the way of its development not happen there there is no progress there is no development okay so this is what is very important things are there we have to help each other okay we have to help each other not to put the obstacles on that place and this way if we cooperate with each other we will help support with with each other then what happen that development will be definitely took place okay students attempts to find out answer to many questions by studying the way of thinking of past societies their actions and the consequence the study of history make it possible for us to study what is and what is not favorable for the progress of human society so students the study to make possible us for study the what is and what is not favorable for the progress of human society history thus provides us to us with guidelines about how we should behave today in order to shape a good future and this way it will provide guidelines and this way how we have to behave today and to shape our good future by telling us the life stories of great people history also serve to inspire and to motivate us see students our parents also saying the stories of great person why because because from that person we are getting we have, we have to inspire that and this way is we have if we will inspire that it is good for us by studying history we get to know about the give and take that took place between our own and other civilization we learn about the progress of human civilization we also understand how people's way of life went on changing and say so we have since stone age we have the history and uh, every time evolution was taking place changes are took place in our human being and this way we learn about the progress of human civilization we also understand how people way of life went on changing day by day say so students every village this city district state and country has its own history so say students every village city district state and country has its own history it was not same similarly the earth its mountains water bodies the animals world mankind all have their own history so this way similarly students see that the earth its mountains different types of mountains are there right 
some are high tide, some are not high tide, some are, some mountains are very peak. So these are different types are there. The water bodies also there, lake, river, ocean, sea. So this way the animals also world all have their own history. Every science too has a history. It tells us of the many scientific discoveries that brought about important changes in human civilization and of the scientists who met those discoveries as a students. This way every science too has a history. And it also tells us of the many scientific discoveries that brought about important changes in human civilization and of the scientists who made those and those are making the discoveries on that okay and for the past and the future see students the past present and future are linked by a continuous chain of events for example the indians people fought against the british government to get independence this is a historical action as a result, India became an independent nation on 15 August 1947. So say students, our past. You all know that when we got independence, we got independence on 15 August 1947. So, so this is our past, okay? And this way, our how our Indian peoples have fought very bravely. How they sacrificed their life and this way we will get, that means we got the independence. It is not very easy, it is very difficult task for us. And how we achieve the independence, okay? And this way the Indian people fought against the British government to get independence. So this is a historical action. As a result, you have to buy ahead that students should know about that when we got the independence. That means we got the independence from the British government 15 August 1947. India got independence. Okay, students. So we can say that independence was a consequence. Okay. Of an action. That is the Indian people struggle for independence, for freedom. Independence means all student that means freedom. In this way, the events of today are linked with past action. Say that students, without past, we will not make any, that means we will not make any progress. So we have to see the past. So when we understand this, we realize that the future depends on past events. So this way, when we understood this, that means uh, the events of today are linked with past actions. So when we realize, understand this, we realize that the future depends on past events. This is what we learn from history. All this we are where we are learning students. So we where we get the knowledge with the help of the history. That means we learn from history. For examples, we learn that man began to make tools from materials available in nature. So you all know that all know that in Stone Age how the how the our peoples are making the stone tools, right? So this way we learn that man began to make tools from material available in whatever they are getting in the nature. So that from that they are making the tools that he learned how to make use of fire and that he invented the wheel. Invented means what is to originate. So this way afterwards that he learned how to make use of fire and that he invented the wheel. See students, the next generation added to this development, technology developed further hand in hand with the physical and intellectual development of man. This process is going on continuously even today. So this way continuously also took place. So see student this way we can say about the technology development further hand in hand with the physical and intellectual development of man. Physical as well as intellectual development of man. This process is going on continuous. It was not stopped. It was since continuous process even today also. Inventions of today are only possible for the foundation of the discoveries and inventions of the past and see students you have to remember that inventions of today are only possible for on the foundation of the discoveries and inventions of the past without past we will not make any progress any development see student pictures are shown here inventions and technology of the past how in the past how they are making that fire see that okay and afterwards see that uh, inventions and technology of the present day can you see that? Okay, so these are the changes that took place. And this you should know about that students. Uh, that means inventions of today are only possible on the foundation of the discoveries and inventions of the past. Exercise question number one, fill in the blanks. Question number two, answer each question in one sentence. After that students, Question number four, complete the concept chart. You have to complete that concept chart. 
एंड क्वेश्चन नंबर फाइव क्लासीफाई द सोर्सेस ऑफ हिस्ट्री यूजिंग द चार्ट गिवन ईयर सो सी स्टूडेंट्स ऑल दिस आर द असाइनमेंट आई एम गिविंग टू यू एज योर होमवर्क यू हैव टू डू दिस इन योर नोटबुक एंड रीड दिस लेसन टॉइस टू टाइम्स प्रॉपरली आई होप डैट यू अंडरस्टूड दिस लेसन थैंक यू